Hello, my name is Olivia Armstrong and you are listening to Big Green Stories, part of the Big Green Architecture Draw, a family day organised by the Big Draw and Reba Learning. The Cracked Pot For this story, I would like to take you into the heart of a busy city many years ago. Where will your pencil lead you? Let the city unfold as you begin to draw. Let's begin our journey high up above, flying overhead with the starlings, seeing the whole of the city in a single glance. What can you see? The ship's masts? like a thin forest on the river? The cramped streets, alive with fire-eating, smoke-belching, steam-pumping factories squatting on the river's edge. Impossible to tell where the city begins and where it ends as it blends into the grey skies. If you're ready, let's swoop down with the birds. Our wings a flash of small green stars swooping over the broad blue-grey river that winds and twists like a snake, darting in and out of the wheels of carts and carriages as they trundle by, resting for a moment on the low roofs of red-bricked crooked houses, so close together not even a sliver of sunlight can pass between. A brick city of dust heaps and ditches. A city of rain that paints the rooftops in grey. A city bustling and bursting, always moving like the restless waves of an ocean. Into one corner of this city, every morning, a builder would walk on his way to work to where even more houses were needed. His job was to haul water from the river to the building site many times each day. Back and forth, the same grey path, the same grey skies. To do this work, the builder had two large pots that hung from each end of a pole he carried across the back of his neck, balanced over the top of his shoulders. Can you see them? Smooth and rounded with a shiny red glaze. Two identical pots, except only one of them was perfect. The other had a thin crack that zigzagged down one side. So with every long dusty trip to the river and back, the cracked pot lost water. At first, just a splash, then more and more until nearly half of its water had gone, while the perfect pot never lost a single drop. For two years this went on. Throw out that old cracked pot and get a new one, the boss scolded the builder. It's broken, useless, it can't be mended, it's only half as good as the other. The red glaze of the perfect pot shone even brighter with pride. And the cracked pot felt shame creep across from its lip to its lid. The builder didn't reply, but placed the pots upon the pole, ready for the next day's work. Next morning, as the builder carried the pots down to the river as usual, the cracked pot spoke in a low, scratchy voice. I am ashamed. I want to say sorry. Why? asked the builder. What are you ashamed of? For the past two years, I've delivered only half my load because this crack in my side causes water to leak out all the way back to the site. Although you work so hard, I let you down. I'm old, cracked, worthless. But the builder smiled and said, Listen, as we walk back, don't 
don't look up to the grey skies. Look down at the path. Look and see what's growing there. As they trudged back from the river, the old cracked pot felt the sun pouring down like honey onto its back and then down onto a patch of wild flowers on the side of the path. It hadn't noticed them before. Had you? Get ready to bring out all your colours to draw a colourful carpet of delicate daisies following the path of the sun. Primroses like fallen golden stars, sweetly scented purple violets. A tangle of wallflowers climbing up as though to paint the bricked walls. And above them, bees buzzed and butterflies waltzed with summer breezes. The cracked pot felt a little happier. But at the end of the walk, it felt even more ashamed because it had leaked out half its water again and so once again apologised to the builder for its flaws. The builder said, You don't understand what I showed you. Did you notice where the flowers were growing? There were only flowers on your side of the path, none on the other pot's side. I've always known about your flaw. I could have bought a new pot, but I saved my money and bought seeds from the flower girls in the market. I scattered them on your side of the path. Every day while we walk back from the river, you've watered them. In a small corner of this bustling old grey city, there's a bright patch of colour like an artist has been at work, and everyone who sees it forgets the grey skies. It's because of your flaw We've been able to gather to grow these beautiful flowers. Without you being just the way you are, we couldn't have done it. After that, the old cracked pot never felt worthless again. It felt loved and useful and looked forward to that journey back and forth to the river every day watering the flowers and watching them grow in the city. Until one day its cracks grew and so weakened the pot it broke into pieces. The builder found them and carefully carried them to the edge of the river and buried them on the side of the path where the flowers might wrap their roots around the clay shards and grow even stronger and where they still grow today. Look, can you see them?